So you added something to SmartThings, but it's not showing up in your Sharp Tools. I'm gonna to show you how to fix that. Hi, this is Justin from Simply Smart, where we make smart home technology as easy as one, two, three. So if you're interested in smart home technology, consider subscribing for more content like this. In this video, we are going to show you um, how to basically add the new devices that you've added to your SmartThings and get it into your Sharp Tools so you can use those devices in rules and dashboards. So when you go into your dashboards, click on the edit button and you're gonna go ahead and add something and you go down your list and it's not in your list. So where is it? Why is it not showing here? I just added it to SmartThings and it's not showing in my list. Um, same thing is if you go over to your rules engine and you go in, go ahead and the device and you go looking down and your device is not here. What is the problem? Well, when you add new devices to SmartThings, they do not instantaneously add to your Sharp Tools because sometimes you may not want them to be in your Sharp Tools. So the way to fix that is you go over to um, your account page and click on View Account. All right, now once on your account page, you see the Manage Connections. Now you use this when you connected your SmartThings account but it may be a while um, since you've done that and you may have forgotten how to do that. So if you click on manage connections, these are all the connections that you can manage. Um, so if you have smart things, I can see that it's connected. I have my push pull it connected and I have my phone connected. So if I click on the smart things, what it's going to do is going to ask you to log in to your smart things account. And once you log in, going to basically be in your SmartThings IDE and it's going to say authorize sharp tools to work with your SmartThings devices. Come down here and right in this box where it says select one, just choose your location that you want to authorize for devices. So you're going to click on, usually you only have one, but you could have multiple locations. And now you can see these are all of the devices that I have authorized. If it has a check mark, it's authorized and it's able to be used in the rules. You can see um, just added some candles, so those are not authorized. And in a previous video, I added the Life360 integration, so those are not authorized as well. So if I wanted to um, authorize these, I would just click on the check marks and now they are in there but once you have all of your checks and unchecks the way you want them to be just click on authorize and it says congratulations you have paired your account now they just provide a shortcut to your dashboards or your rule engine let's go to manage rules and i'll just go into test stuff here and now if i click on the plus sign and click on event trigger and click on device. Now we should be able to find those Life360 devices that I've just added. And here they are right here. So we have all of those here. And now I can use those in automations. Basically, you know, if you add something to your smart things, you are going to have to um, authorize um, Sharp Tools to use it so you can use it in your dashboards and your rules engine. But it's really easy. Just all you got to do is you know, click on that manage connections and check off the ones that you want and then you're going to be good to go. So I hope you found that video helpful. If you did, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. If you have any questions or need any help, just let me know in the comment section and I will see you in the next video.